In this Photoshop CS6 tutorial, we're going to give ourselves some superhero powers. So when I think about superheroes, we, we look at the muscle and we want to make it a bit bigger. So I'm going to right click, duplicate this layer so we don't accidentally mess up the original. Click on OK. And I should mention, if you want this picture, you can download this picture uh, from com slash share slash muscle dot jpeg you can just grab it from here and we're going to try going to the filter uh, liquify filter liquify and this is a really fun little tab you can create some other um, do some other things as well such as uh, you can uh, do some enlargements not to mention any parts of the body but I'm sure you can use your creativity uh, and uh, this is a really fun one you can give yourself some googly eyes that would be quite silly but uh, here we go let's give it a try using the uh, uh, using the bloat tool one of the favorites bloat means uh, you make <clears throat> your image bigger whereas pucker you shrink things down we want to make our muscles bigger if you press the uh, square brackets, notice how you can make a big circle here. And if you just kind of shake your mouse side to side, you can bloat your muscles here. Let's increase the uh, shoulder muscles. And as well as the, uh, you can make it a bit bigger here. Just increase the triceps as well. That looks pretty good. Give yourself a little bit of the uh, muscles here as well. So this looks pretty good. Just scroll a little bit to the side and let's increase the chest muscles as well. So here, let's give some breasts or chestesis. Okay, this looks good. So this looks good, and when I think about a superhero, I think about the, the upside down triangle, so I'm gonna use the for, forward warp tool, or W, and we're just gonna kind of uh, push the left mouse button and just push that in, and that looks uh, quite extreme. Click on OK. So the computer will take a while to render, especially if you have a slow computer like me. We really should be getting a graphics card. And ta-da! So this is before and this is after. Before, after. A significant difference. You can have lots of fun with this. Now, superheroes always look beautiful, not like uh, uh, these blackheads here. So I'm going to uh, just find some nice uh, tools. If you click and hold or right-click, you can choose the, the spot healing brush, which is very, very good for blackheads, as well as for uh, uh, pimples, and just make sure the, the circle, square brackets, is a little bit bigger than the actual blackhead. And you can have a very pretty superhero here. Okay, so this is good. You can clean things up very nicely. Now, what else about superheroes? Superheroes uh, have smoother skin. So I just uh, play around and try something here. I will <clears throat> use the uh, paintbrush tool, and I'll use a very soft brush. This looks like a nice soft brush here. This looks good. And because this image quality is quite big, I have to press the square brackets to increase the size here. Now I have a brush here ready to go. I'm going to press the, the letter Q, or click on this button here. This allows me to very uh, smoothly color in a nice region here. I'm just going to try to smoothen this part of the skin. And when I press Q or click on this button again, I'm back in the normal mode. Let me press Control minus to zoom out. I'm selecting everything but that uh, part here. So if I go to select, select inverse, now I'm actually focusing in on uh, my chicken, chicken skin here. It looks like it's very cold in this room. And I can now, uh, uh, I can now apply a blur to here. So if I go to filter, blur, uh, Gaussian blur. Gaussian blur is a common one. And you can actually uh, uh, apply a blur. You probably want to go quite subtle, one or two. But just for the sake of extremism, so you can see what's going on here, I'll, I'll choose a radius of 3.5. And you can see that, uh, let me press Control D, or select, deselect. You can see that when I press Control Z, uh, maybe we can't really notice it. Let's uh, let's press Control Z. There we go. So Control Z, as I toggle back and forth, this is uh, quite a 
big difference in terms of uh, how chickeny the skin is. Another, th another thing you might want to try doing is uh, duplicate this layer and make the uh, the blurred layer at 50% opacity and that might uh, make for a, a more real effect because you don't want everything to be too blurry it will look quite fake. Alright let's try something else here. Uh, superheroes don't have armpit hair this is quite disgusting so let's uh, clean that up here. Uh, we will try some different tools. Uh, one tool I will try is the idea of a uh, clone stamp tool. The clone stamp tool is quite strong and the idea is you just choose one area of skin or one area and you can change the size of the clone stamp tool using your square brackets. You hold down alt button and you click. So this is my reference point and using the reference point you can just kind of paint and and I recommend don't let go of the left mouse button too much. You can paint things to repair the skin. Uh, if you have some uh, uh, skin damage in a certain area, something a bit more subtle you might want to play around with. Uh, it is, if you click and hold, uh, you should be able to find this patch tool. The patch tool is you you pick a region here, and I'm just going to, oops, let's control Z. You pick a little patch. This is kind of lagging. So you pick a little patch here, and the computer is quite laggy here. And you literally click in the middle and you drag it out. And you try to align it with whatever else you like. And the computer tries to patch it up. And because I lined it up that way, my muscle line actually looks uh, uh, like it might belong there. So play around with those two tools. And, and you can even try patching out this... Uh, logo here to make it uh, white. It's going to be a bit tricky working with this line here, but uh, it's going to take beyond the, the length of this tutorial to work through that. But assuming that you made this white, let me just uh, try to do a hack job here. I'm going to use the uh, clone stamp tool. Uh, let's see here. I'll just do this quickly. See if I just want to alt click this uh, point here. And I'm going to just try to Clean this up a little bit here. Uh, not quite perfect, but uh, for the sake of simplicity, we'll just carry on. Use the patch tool here. Going to highlight this logo here. And I got the logo. And I'm going to click in the middle, drag it out, and reference it to this white area here. And of course, the computer is thinking when I press Ctrl D or select, deselect. You can see that the logo is mainly gone here. It looks nice. And finish this off by finding a nice Superman logo. I'm going to copy one off the internet just for the educational purposes. And I'm going to paste this. Now, obviously, this looks kind of uh, too extreme. The colors are too bright. It looks kind of fake. But let's just finish this off here. Use the magic wand tool. Click on the area of similar color, white. Press delete. And uh, press Ctrl D to deselect. Use the move tool. And I am going to transform this. It's a little bit too bright to be real, but uh, let's transform it and move it a little bit to the center here. And press Enter. It looks a little bit fake. What can I do to make it this better? I'm going to actually merge it with this layer. So you press Ctrl click or Shift click these two layers. Right click Merge. Now this is uh, treated as one layer. I'm going to go back to the liquify, filter liquify, and let's kind of give some 3D depth to these uh, the Superman logo here. So I'm going to go to the blow tool. I'm going to try to make this uh, uh, Superman logo look like it, 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 it belongs here. So I give it some some bloat there. Click on OK. So you can see there's a little bit of 3D shape to the Superman logo. It's slightly more real. It's still too bright. I'm going to change the mode here. So let's. Uh, ooh, I should have. Uh, I should have had the Superman logo separately, and and I should have uh, multiplied it first. But this looks good. I'll just press Control outside a couple of times to have this on a separate layer. What I should have done here is I have the Superman logo on a different layer. I should have played with these modes here. This line here, this section here, from this line to this line, these things darken things. The, this, these uh, options lightens the effects, and these lines, uh, this, this section here, generally increases contrast. So if you choose a different mode, 
you can literally put, use your arrow keys to kind of play through these. And one of the ones that kind of mixes layers well is called multiply. It actually uh, uh, takes these two layers and it kind of mixes them together. You can't really tell because it's just a white layer, but it adds a bit more realism. And now this is actually multiplied. I'm going to shift click and right click merge. And this is where I would go back to filter and let's uh, liquefy it. And this is where I would use the blow tool to add a little bit of uh, chest uh, um, depth here. Click on OK. And this looks pretty good. Congratulations, you created, made yourself a superhero. This is excellent.